Hi, hello everybody, welcome back. In last video, we have created a project, TI project, and configured the CPU. And today we have talked about the block called the OB block. In this new uh, project, there are no block except the main OB and uh, the safety OB, safety some function and DB OB. We'll talk later uh, about the safety function. So today we will discuss about the OB block. So first click on new block that see where you can see the organization block OB block OB block so in the right window you see that there are some 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 18 OB block right there so we'll talk about the basic function of this OB and later we'll uh, talk in drift and do some program about this block so today we'll discuss only the uh, basic function not will do the program so first one is uh, start up this uh, this block um, uh, is the number is hundred and this block is called the startup so startup block is called the startup block this block run if you call this block in your uh, program I means uh, if you add by clicking the ok this block will execute first during the startup before the execute your ob block your ob1 block main function block it will execute the first then after the execution the CPU goes to run mode and uh, and execute your main OB block so startup OB block only execute once during the startup only and that time no cycle time will monitor by the CPU because that time is the startup mode source so second one is the the main program cycle the main uh, main OB block that already been uh, created during the project creation that that OB one priority is the one first priority so, after the CPU goes run mode so in that OB1 in that OB1 all the user program mostly actually most uh, most of your user program fall in this OB block and it will execute cycle but in other block like uh, time delay interrupt cyclic interrupt that OB1 in that OB block, you can call or you can program some your logic as you or requirement. But mostly all of your user program call in the main function block OB. So next one cyclic interrupt. Cyclic interrupt that it's allowed to execute the function inside this OB cyclically. 
and this cyclic time you can set from here and it is cyclic interrupt it set 250 microsecond to 60 second 60 second so you can set um, from the cyclic how this program how this ob will execute uh, so you can set from here and you can uh, set the time by sfc also but uh, if you um, set the time by sfc during the restart that um, the setting will all be vanished you have to uh, set again so cyclic interrupt you can set the cycle time but in ob1 it will not change you cannot uh, change the cycle time you can set only the minimum and maximum and in uh, in between minimum and maximum it will take the time cycle time uh, see, uh, is cycle time will be different or same okay next one is hardware interrupt uh, this hardware interrupt ob block uh, will not for all module it only some um, dedicated module high fissure module like digital high fissure module or analog high fissure module that uh, high fissure module uh, has the function the hardware interruption so you can uh, take uh, hardware interrupt uh, when you you have the high pressure module in your project otherwise it will not work so there are another ob called this time error interrupt this time error interrupt module is so ob can handle the error interrupt and uh, and the cycle we start up everything so uh, from this uh, time error interrupt we can see that it will handle error the time which time it will uh, in, uh, handle the your ob execution error suppose you if you set the time um, by default uh, your program take the minimum cycle time is one millisecond you can set is if you can set it uh, as a uh, if you can if you set your program as a there is no minimum so your main ob ob execution cycle may be less than the one millisecond suppose you have set uh, it as a one millisecond to 150 second so if your user program execution time more than the one 150 millisecond then your cpu goes to stop your plan will be stopped so if you call if you uh, take uh, the if you take the ob time error interrupt in your program in your program so uh, your cpu will not uh, goes to stop mode so next organization block ob is diagnostic error interrupt this diagnostic error interrupt will be called by your CPU when uh, wire break or short circuit or missing supply in your module uh, detect and uh, it will not uh, uh, normally uh, enable in your CPU you have to enable by configuration and uh, this 
this uh, fissure diffusion error interrupt is not available for all cpu but if you not call in your uh, program um, then uh, it just in, uh, ignore if uh, any wire break or short circuit missing supply detected by your cpu it will uh, just ignore if you not call diagnostic error interrupt it is not uh, going to stop mode like in the cyclic interrupt or time delay interrupt then second another ob is pull or plug module pull or plug module so in description pull or plug ob is called after removing or inserting that means it's called when a module when a module inserted in your rack maybe in distributed module or in a central rack or insert or remove in both time it can be called by your cpu so uh, it is called twice during inserting or during removing if you not call this ob in your user program cpu going uh, cpu not goes to stop mode when you remove or insert in module it just ignore it just ignore so next one is rack or station failure next one is rack or station failure it's called a prop it's called when a profi bus or profinet station is fail that time rack or station failure ob is called by your cpu if you not call in your user program it just ignore cpu will not goes to stop mode second one is uh, programming error so if any uh, error happen like binary arrays or bcd calculation in your um, program that time cpu going to stop mode if you not call this programming error in your user program so you have to take this programming error block in your cpu so next io or next ob So next OB is called the IO access error. This IO access error will call when uh, a input or output physical address call, but it is not found. It is not exist in your uh, program. That time or uh, it is failed that time um, io access error block is called but if uh, this io access error is not present in your um, program or in your cpu uh, it will go ignore it will also uh, cpu go not goes to stop mode this is time of day time of day you can uh, call to execute you can set the time uh, set the time set the execution time as a once when it goes to uh, run mode it will um, execute for one if you set minute it will um, execute every minute if you set as our so it will, <coughs> it will set as hour it will execute in every hour by this way you can set day week month like this but you cannot set 
but you cannot set uh, more than 28 days because uh, February month has a max 28 days so um, you can set the uh, time as a execution time as a uh, end of the month so it will execute end of the month so most important block you can take in your uh, project like cyclic interrupt hardware interrupt uh, pool react programming error uh, that you can take and uh, you have to take we must take it's, uh, the IO access and cyclic interrupt time delay sorry uh, yes time error interrupt that already taken that's why it is not here so I am taking that programming error that need to take then I can take the rack station failure so later uh, we'll talk about the cyclic interrupt or hardware interrupt in details this is for today okay bye bye